welcome back. Today is another episode of Talk Thursday, but today is going to be about the time I literally thought someone broke into our house and I was going to die. Like, that's how bad it was. Like, it was pretty bad. So if you guys want to see the story, just go ahead and keep on watching. So I think it happened a couple years ago. We were living in our old house, so if you guys don't remember what my room looked like. I had my bed up against the wall like I do now. I literally, it was, it was pretty like close to the night. It was like probably like one or two maybe I want to say. And I remember I kind of woke up a little bit and I like felt like someone was in the house and I'm not saying like it was just like oh it felt like someone was in the house but like literally it felt like there was someone there and I remember hearing a noise in the living room which our house was kind of old so it did have squeaks like in certain places of the house but not in the living room so I was I heard like footsteps like it sounded like footsteps and I was just freaking out in my bed so my thing was I literally like covered my head with my blanket and I was like oh my gosh I think there's someone in the house like what do I do I was like panicking like crazy I didn't know what to do so I was like no like you're just it's your imagination it's no one's there like just you know try and go to sleep so I turned my body to the wall because I was just like okay you know like whatever and the door was where my feet were so I was just like okay you know it's just my imagination. I've always, I'm always, I've always been very scared of the dark and even now like I'm still scared of the dark. And so I turned my body towards the wall. I was like, okay, you know, Lord, please like make, like I hope no one's in the house. Like please Lord, like calm my like fearness or whatever. And so what ended up happening was I was, I was laying towards the wall, like I said, and I remember feeling, I felt like this really strange like presence, like someone was in the room right above my bed and like you know kind of like I'm laying here just someone is like looking at me watching me while I'm sleeping I remember I just started praying and I was just like dear lord like if this is the moment I die like please let me go to heaven and like literally like that's how scared I was and I remember like I think I started like praying the rosary or something and then I like knocked out and so in the morning when I woke up I was like I told my mom I was like I'm legit scared like it felt like someone was in the house and it felt like it was like I heard it, the footsteps and then I heard it walk into my room and then I heard it just stop at my bed and she was just like oh gosh this is creepy and so then I think a couple days later um my dad ended up getting some like holy water and like and ended up like putting holy water all around the house we like opened all the doors all the windows and I remember it was like the scariest thing because I was like what if there's like an evil ghost in here or a demon I believe in that stuff so I do not mess around with any of that stuff since a young age I was taught like you don't mess with psychics you don't mess with with any like of the spiritual supernatural stuff because it's real and I've seen it so like I just it scared me because I, I know how real it is so after we did that and I ended up getting a rosary and putting it around like a, a rosary that had been blessed I put it on my bedpost and I was just like, like, hopefully this helps. And ever since then, nothing has ever happened again. Nothing ever happened in that house and nothing ever happened in the new house. Or actually, no, that's a whole nother story. Something creepy did happen in this house, but I've never felt as scared as I did that time. And then I come to find out that across the street, we lived across the street from like this old museum. It's like a his historical landmark or whatever. Um, it's like a really old house. In this house, they had like the ghost hunters go and they ended up like, they were on the show, the ghost hunters. And so they ended up saying that there's like one of the rooms has like an evil spirit. And also another thing was that our house used to be, before we bought it, it was the convalescent home. So it was, it had like the house in the front and another house in the back. So it maybe could have been one of those spirits. I don't know, that was just like one of the scariest experiences of my life and, and I've never had that fear ever again. But I also have a story later that I'll tell you guys that happened in this house or in this apartment and I'll leave that for another talk Thursday or talk Tuesday. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to share if you've ever had any kind of like paranormal stuff happening either in your house or in your room or your friend or your grandparents or anything like that. I like to know that I'm not the only one that experiences like crazy stuff like this. Yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.